Hello and welcome to more Banjo Tooie! Guys, we finally get to go to my favorite stage of the game. I am so pumped up. Today we begin Hailfire Peaks. And last episode I said we're going to go directly to it, which is kind of technically true, but <laughs> I might have been a little bit misleading, but we got a couple of other things to do real quick. But technically, we are going to be going to Hellfire Peaks right now. So we have to go across the stomping plane. And now that we have the uh, snooze pack with Banjo... Oh, I forgot to split up. Gosh dang it. Well, don't mind me. I just uh, forgot to split up the Banjo. We'll, we'll fix this. Don't worry. Okay, let's do this properly this time. So we've got Banjo. Let's go ahead and snooze pack just to get up to the top real quick. And let's make our way across the stomping planes. We couldn't do this before as Banjo's solo because we needed the snooze pack. But now we got that crud. So now we're good to go. And it's going to take quite a while, so I'm probably just going to cut out the healing portions, because every time we get inside one of these things, we have to sit around, wait for it to heal us all the way back up for every single footprint along the way. Now, I think you might be able to technically do it with just two uh, health, but I don't really want to find out. You know what? Forget it. Let's, let's test it out. I'm going to get hit right here. Let's just heal up to two and see if that is enough, because the way the mechanic works is it knocks you down to one health. So technically this should work, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so you don't have to heal the full every time. Just heal one point and you're good to go. I am going to heal all the way up to full this time because I think we can avoid getting stomped on again. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the switch right here with Banjo. Get that crud wrecked. And that'll open up a little entrance right here to Hellfire Peak. So we are technically going directly to that stage. Now let's swap over to Kazooie. You guys have already seen me go across this as Kazooie, so I'll just meet you guys on the other side. And of course I got wrecked. Gosh dang it. Well, it's perfectly fine. I'm just going to pick both of them up and go across using the Wonder Wing now that I have the door on the other side already open. There we go. We're safely across, and we're only like a minute or two into this video, and there's already been like five different fails. Holy crud. It's all right. All we have to do inside here, inside Hellfire Peaks, grab a Jiggy, and that's it. Now we can leave. So now I'm actually going to exit out of Pterodactyland and uh, move on. Okay, so we're back in the wasteland and we're gonna hop inside the silo here and we're actually gonna take this to the cliff top. Now I could go to Pine Grove to go back to Witchy World because I know I still have to get the uh, the fortune smiles upon you thing but I just cannot get it to work guys. I tried for like half an hour. I was grinding it out so I could try to show you guys and I just couldn't get it. It will not give it to me. So I have no idea if it's like I can't do it. Maybe I've already done it Maybe because I did it on a separate file, it carries over. I, I don't know. Maybe it's already done and I can just go read the signs. I got to figure out what's going on with that, though. It will not give me the fortune smells upon me. I, I just don't understand that. But we got the Claw Clamber boots right here. Let's go up here, grab this Jinjo. And that'll give us four out of five for the green Jinjos. Not bad. We're going to dodge that guy and finally go inside Hailfire Peaks. This is my favorite stage in the game. I'm so excited to finally get here. Now, when we got the Mega Globo and we got the Jiggy just now, you guys saw the icy side. However, here, we're in the lava side. And here we see... Gobi. Two years, finally I've made it to the warmth of lava world with a belly full of water. So, basically two years ago, as far as game development is concerned, back in Banjo-Kazooie, uh, we interacted with Gobi during the Click Clock Wood stage, and he said he was going to go off to the lava stage. And a lot of people interpret that as this, you know, basically he's coming to this area, which technically is true. But it is rumored that originally there was going to be a lava stage within Banjo kazooie and it actually got cut due to time constraints. So there was going to be a 10th world after Click Clock Wood, and they ended up having to cut that. And I think that the a lot of what they did for that stage carried over to the fire side of this stage. So it's kind of interesting that there's some carryover there, but apparently Gobi was originally when he originally made that line of going to the lava world, he wasn't referencing Banjo-Tooie. I don't think they planned that far ahead. Maybe they did, though. It's all... I don't know if any of it's confirmed. I could only find rumors about it. I couldn't find any official confirmation. But yes, we're inside the Hellfire Peaks fire side, which is kind of a fire stage from Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, we're getting attacked by a dragon. Uh, right down that's just going to take you back and forth down below and up top. So if you get knocked down or if you fall off, you want to go through that to get back up here. Uh, but these guys, these guys are evil. You want to wait for them to move their hands away so you can go through. The dragon, oh no, I got hit. I guess I can show you guys using that thing to get back up top then. Yes, those guys are very evil. If they hit you, you're pretty much going down. And you know what? We can kill this cursed beehive right here to get a couple of health. So let's do it. Just going to try not to get killed by this fire from this gosh dang dragon up there. Gosh dang Chili Billy is his name. Well, gosh dang is probably not a part of the name. No, don't fall off again. Okay, I actually got hit without falling off. Fantastic. 
We're just gonna go through here. And there we go. Come on, get by the last one. Alright, I don't even want to deal with those guys. I honestly just wanted to go down here. Not into the lava. Ow! Which it. I got hit by the lava, then fall damage. Yes, this stage is actually very dangerous. It's actually pretty likely that you'll you'll die here if you're not careful. Lots and lots of enemies from all angles. Now here I'm just going to stand around for a bit because eventually um, Chili Billy is going to shoot a fireball. So we just want to chill for a bit until that happens. Sounds like he's about to do it. And there it is, guys. So the fireball happens and it destroys this building right here, which is actually quite convenient. It uh, reveals a fly pad we can use. And we're going to use that in just a minute. But first I want to go over here and hit this switch. Just avoid these guys. Pain in the butts. Hit that switch, and this is actually going to open up a shortcut, so we can take this to go back and forth across those two little paths. I'm not going to take that now, but it's just one of those things that if you don't actually decide to play the entire stage in one sitting, if you want to get back across here, well, you got a shortcut. You don't have to go all the way around every time, which is pretty nice. But, you know, let's get some of these gold feathers back up, because since we use so many on the stomping planes, is that going to change? Oh, it, it did change, just the, the lighting's a little bit weird right there. And wait for this last one. Here we go. Okay, let's go use the fly pad. And I'm going to fly all the way up. I think we're going to go fight Chili Billy right here. So we just want to fly all the way up to the little entrance right here on the volcano. Let's see if I can get inside. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, I made it, but I just I want to be able to aim properly so I can get inside without having to stick to the wall for a second. But oh well. So this boss is actually quite easy. It's Chili Billy, the hot and spicy dragon. Oh, hey, buddy. Ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. Uh, yep, that's that's definitely us. We're here to deliver your pizza. So he says he's got a 12-foot spicy meat special, but I don't know how we could fit that in our backpack. But with that said, I guess we have stored giant fat bears in our backpack before, so maybe that's not that big of a surprise. But the way we fight this guy is we have to go over to these cannons. They've got little holes inside them. And for this guy, we got to shoot some ice eggs, and that'll shoot them right up to him. For some reason, shooting it through the cannon works. Shooting it directly at him doesn't do crud, so we have to do it this way. But after we hit him a couple times, he says he'll soon have us licked. He's going to go down and try to use his tongue on us, which is... Tongue is actually like the same color as Dragon Kazooie, which is a little bit strange. Now, you got to be careful. If you fall down those pits right there, you pretty much instantly die, and you have to start the boss fight over. So I'm going to try not to do that. Also, if you sit at one of these cannons for too long without moving to the next one, it'll actually vanish. I believe... You can only do three shots with a single cannon, so it's better to move on. That way you can kill him with three rounds of licking, or actually two licks, and then you get him on the third one. Whereas if you stay at the same one, you'll get two shots, then one, it'll vanish. And you kind of have to go through more cycles. So just like that, this guy is defeated. Enough, I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother will still want his. Yep, if you see in the background there, there's actually an icy volcano as well. Hailfire Peaks, of course, has the lava side and the icy side. And, well, he's got a big brother. Let's just put it that way. We'll deal with him in a bit. So, we actually did not get a jiggy for that quite yet. So, let's just get out of this place. Let's just circle around here until we find the exit. Which was also, I guess, the entrance. I wish he could just jump off and fall down, but we'll just die if we do that. Not that dying is a big deal in this game, but... Oh, well. Did I go the wrong way? Yep, I probably circled all the way around. If I went the other way, it probably would have just happened a lot quicker. But oh well. From this point, after we got this guy taken care of, I actually want to drop down here. Just doing that trick so we don't take any damage. And we can grab that warp pad. I want to split up to Banjo Solo in just a minute, but there's one empty honeycomb over this way I want to grab first. So let's go over there and do that. So we have a, a hot spring right here. Let's go read that sign. Warning! Trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. That ain't good. Yep, if we jump inside there, we're just going to get damaged. Not going to work out so well. So we have to go over here as Banjo and Kazooie, because there is a Snapdragon, which Banjo can't really deal with on his own. But if you use Kazooie, you can peck or you can do a grenade egg. So let's go ahead and grab that, and let's go back and go split up to Banjo Solo. Now, once we have Banjo Solo right here... Oh my gosh, I've taken a lot of damage. You know what? First thing, let's actually heal up. Oh my goodness how was i down to two already i don't think i took any damage on the boss i guess it was just from falling in the lava that one time but yeah i'm actually gonna i'm gonna drop down right here let's try not to get killed oh oh boy okay we avoided that guy somehow i don't think regular attacks are gonna work too well on him and even if they do it's too hard to hit him it's just not worth it i, I usually just try to avoid him oh gosh dang it something just pooped on me or something 
So with the double jump, we can actually jump over these guys, but we still want to wait for the ones that have the, the notes. Oh, whoa, no. Oh, I made it. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. That would have sucked. But here we get the Shack Pack. This one makes you safe and small to fit through gaps in a wall. First hold left trigger or right trigger, then press right stick down. Protected in liquids, you will be. So once again, the changes in buttons kind of makes his rhymes not work. But, oh, yep, Jam Jar is bonking once again. But yes, now we can actually go inside that hot spring we just interacted with. So let's work our way back there. I'm actually going to jump down this way just for a little bit of a easier time. Oh, okay, that was close. One thing I found kind of odd about the double jump is that if you use it, uh, it doesn't actually stop your fall damage. So whenever you're trying to avoid fall damage as Banjo Solo, just drop down and do the pack whack, but don't don't actually double jump out of it. Otherwise, it'll, for some reason, cancel out. Oh my gosh. It'll cancel out the fact that you used the pack whack, and you'll just take the same fall damage you would have taken if you just fell directly. <laughs> I hope I explained that in a way that's actually understandable, but... Oh well. So we're going to go over here and use that shack pack, which is pretty much the best ability ever. We're just hopping inside our backpack. Let's jump on down. We can go inside. And down here we can grab a fishy. Oh, yo. And we can also get a green Jinjo. That's the last one we need. That'll bring us up to five. So we're going to get a, a Jiggy right here. I think we've finished off like five of the Jinjo families at this point. We still have four to go, though. So we got that. And now we're actually going to go meet up with Kazooie once again. So we'll just walk back over there. All right, there's Kazooie. Let's go and head over this way. Let's make sure. Yep, there's some more of these hot hands. Oh, dang it. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Don't fall again. Oh, the guy pushed me. Are you kidding me, dude? This is ridiculous. Well, now that, I'm, ow, now that I'm down here, I'm going to grab some health. I'm actually going to drop all the way down here and uh, just take the warp pad back up. I could climb back up, but I just find this easier, so we'll take the warp pad. That was like the most unfortunate thing ever. I can't believe that happened. But thankfully, warp pads are conveniently placed, so we can just go back up here. Let me not get killed by gosh dang fire hands, hot hands, whatever they are. I hate these guys, dude. They're pretty much the worst enemies ever. With that said, I still love this stage. It's still my favorite stage, but those guys are gosh dang pains in the butt. So we got over to the icy side here, and this is the alien dude we saw over in uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. We actually saved him. We had to, like, ice up their ship or something. For some reason, it was powered by ice eggs. Oh, no, look at it. It's an igloo. That igloo looked like it was made out of metal or something. Yep, calculate it's a long way down. Is he is he going to jump or maybe his... Oh, the ship is malfunctioning. That's not good. Yep, just just tell it to keep going steady. That'll make it work. Oh, and he gets fallen or he gets knocked right out. Jetpack is probably not going to work. And Kasplat. Oh, never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. Nope, I'm not. I'm dead. Well, that ain't good. He does not seem dead. Oh, nope, the eyes are closed. Yep, he's actually dead. Well, poor guy. I, I feel kind of bad for him. But here we are on the icy side. And this is pretty funny. We got these giant yetis that are so menacing and everything. But if you use Kazooie's fire, they will just run away like sissies. I mean, look it. He could be way over there. We use the fire, and he still runs away. They do not like fire over here. So we can use some fire eggs. Ugh. Yep, two, it'll take two hits if you do, uh, do normal attacks. But with the power of fire eggs, one shot. I'm big of foot. I have an enormous foot. Yep, just just one enormous foot. I mean, the other foot's got a pretty large big toe, but other than that, it's kind of normal size. Yeah, he's for some reason blocking these claw clamber boots. I have no idea why he's doing that. But once again, this place has a dragon, just like the fireside had. So all we have to do is sit around for a while. Eventually, he'll activate, and we have to wait for him to try to shoot us. His aim is not the best. Uh, the last one destroyed a building. You can probably guess where this one's going. Why is that guy chewing on his foot? It's nasty. Is he like, I don't know, eating some toe jam or something? But yes, this guy's going to go ahead and shoot directly on his big foot. Make it even bigger. Ow, that sounds painful. Oh, uh, my poor enormous foot. Where's the first aid kit? That's a good question. I guess he's going to go off and look for that, hopping around on his little foot. But... Oh my gosh, little foot. Gosh dang land before time. Let's go grab these claw clamber boots, and we're going to head up and try to fight the second dragon. This time we're going to fight Chili Willy. It's not Chili Billy. It's Chili, Chili Willy. But we're going to go grab this warp pad first. The timer on these claw clamber boots is actually quite lenient, so we can waste some time without too much of an issue. Why is there like a huge run on the side of the mountain right there? That was weird. But yeah, we can get up top here. I think there's also some health, which I kind of need. Let's go grab that. 
Now, this guy is going to be quite a bit more difficult than the fire counterpart. So let's see how we do. Now, with this one, we need fire eggs. However, as Dragon Kazooie, we can basically never run out of fire eggs. So it actually comes in quite handy for this place. But yes, this one is Chili Willy. And notice the spelling on Chili. The first one had C-H-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, so Chili as in like the food. And this one is Chili as in cold. So a little bit different there. It's kind of a nice touch. Although Chili Willy is kind of a very inappropriate name. So he ordered the anchovy deluxe pizza. I don't know why they think we're the pizza delivery guy. I mean, I don't... It's, it's weird. You got all these pizza delivery places, and generally they only deliver for like three miles. I don't know if that's standard everywhere, but... Everywhere I've lived, it's always been you have to be within three miles or they won't deliver. And here, like what kind of pizza delivery service is going to climb up a gosh dang volcano? I don't know, they must get some really great, great service out here. But yes, once again, it's pretty much the same fight. This one's going to take a lot more hits. And he's just going to go for the same the same lick attack. However, this guy is a lot faster and he takes uh, a lot more hits. Like I mentioned before, you can only do three shots with uh, each cannon before it disappears. And since this guy has 12 health, we basically have to go through all of the different cannons. Let's just try not to get licked right here. It's pretty easy to dodge. Even though it's faster, it's pretty easy. And it really doesn't matter too much if you get hit. Like I kind of just did right there. Ow! Except for when you get comboed like this, getting comboed is not good. I actually might die with that. Now, you could also use your Wonder Wing just to avoid some damage, and I might want to do that. Although, I kind of used a lot of them on the stomping grounds we... Or stomping planes. We did get a lot of them restored. So, you know what? Let's go and use that. Just avoid some damage for a bit. And we're safe. All right. And that'll do it. That is the last hit right there. Chili Willy is defeated. With his nasty giant Mountain Dew green tongue. Stop it, I don't want pizza anymore. I'll go and get a takeout instead. Hold on, you frosty fool. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. I don't know why all these people, or all these different monsters just happen to have jiggies, and they're just, they just happen to be willing to give them to you after you defeat them in battle. But I have no idea how those tiny wings can make a giant dragon like that fly. Now, which way is it to the fly-through McJiggies? Didn't his fire counterpart say the exact same thing? I don't know. But let's go and grab that Jiggy. Where is it? I think it's over this way. Yep, there it is. And we really need to get some health at some point, but we'll get there. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode. We got a nice little peek at the two different sides of Hailfire Peaks. I hope you guys are excited to see more of the stage, because I am definitely pumped up to play more of it. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.